I know what you're thinking. What's this video about? What am I doing here? What's a computer? Why do they call it head and shoulders? Wouldn't you just use it for the head? I don't know. <laughs> Can we start the video now? Sheesh. Assalamu alaikum. Now we all come across such conversations that are so silly that your brain just doesn't even know where to begin. It's like a bold guy coming to you and saying, which shampoo should I use? Or someone going to a pound shop and asking, how much is this item? Kind sir, it's a pound shop. Everything is a pound. Now the conversation I'm going to talk about, if this conversation took place with a non-Muslim, that's understandable. But because it takes place with some Muslims, ah, that's just taking the biscuit. The chocolate biscuit. Not the rich tea biscuit that as soon as you dunk them, they disappear in the tea. What's the point of that? No! Back to the subject. Now here's the conversation. Hey, are you a... are, are you a Muslim? Y yes, uh, but I am not an extremist. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, neither am I. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I don't pray, uh, full prayer, but my heart is still clean. That's like saying I don't brush my teeth, but my mouth is still clean. <laughs> Why don't we say it's extreme for us to go to work from morning till evening? We eat three times a day. But how comes we don't say these things are extreme? Uh, look, all of that is uh, for a healthy body. Eh? <laughs> well, prayer is for healthy mind, body and soul. Okay, come on, what about, uh, you know, the beard? Is it too much, eh? It's too much. But brother, the best person to have walked on the face of this earth was a prophet, peace be upon him. And Allah blessed him with a beard as well. If beard was such a bad thing, would Allah really give it to the best person who walked on the face of this earth? <laughs> yeah. Alright, if we just put all of that to the side, and we look at the film industry, in particular Hollywood, when they want to depict a wise person, they always adorn him with a beard. Now why is that? It's because beard is a sign of maturity, wisdom and faith. Even the leader and the founder and guru of evolution, Charles Darwin, he had a beard. You know, every single prophet, Allah blessed them and adorned them with a beard. Now for you to say it's extreme, you'd have to say that all of the prophets were extreme, the founder of evolution, he was extreme, and half of Hollywood is extreme as well. Really? And that's a reality. Islam doesn't teach extremism. It's just a few people who give Islam a bad name. You know, many are brothers. The thing that holds them back from practicing the deen is how other people of the faith are depicted. Why would you let a group of individuals dictate your faith and your purpose? Calling praying five times a day or growing the beard extreme is like calling a vegetarian who eats cucumber extreme or a footballer who kicks the ball extreme. Praying, growing the beard, giving charity, all of these are parts of Islam. And believe me, when you start practicing your faith and you start living by Islam, life will seem so much better. Really? 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 Yeah, how are you? You okay, yeah? <laughs> don't worry, there's no one here. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Yeah, so what were you saying? <laughs>